Ok, welcome my friends to the channel. Uh, this is not so popular, I think so, because today uh, we are going to discuss uh, how to prepare a uh, handle with uh, old style uh, Boeing 737. Uh, it applies for 300, 400 and 500 as well. And uh, we, will, we are focusing particularly on flap retractions and flap scheduled and correct speed bug settings among the other things it will be quite a short video so i hope uh, you will like it first of all i would like to point out that we have dif slightly different panel uh, that's not much discrepancy this is your, your flight cruising altitude this is your landing altitude as on ng and cabin altitude is very important because it's not uh, uh, digitally computing uh, you have to always put your landing altitude minus 200 feet that means we are currently in Prague so a uh, minus 200 feet is uh, uh, 1050 it because uh, you have less stress while the pressurizer is, uh, while the pressurization cabin uh, during your uh, your taxi to the gate and for passenger comfort Flight ground switch is here uh, to help uh, outflow valve to work uh, properly. So it's it's quite essential uh, to know about this switch that we have in. Uh, anyway, if we are going here uh, in classics, we are only using flaps five or flaps fifteen. That means long runway flaps five, short runway flaps fifteen. That's okay so far. Another point of view I would like to discuss uh, is this decision height. This decision height is always related to your LVO approach and auto land. So please, if you are not using auto land or, or while takeoff, put in minus 220, this is the lowest value, in order to not to have the uh, wrong call out uh, that uh, you are approaching decision height or minimums. Okay? And now we are going to how to set the bags because this is uh, the primary source of airspeed indicator you, you are watching for. If you look at the table, I put it on the top of the right corner, uh, you can see that our gross weight is 55 tons. At 55 tons, the minimum clean speed will be 220. So the first bag will be 220. Okay? Uh, one bug is going to 80 to airspeed indicator cross check like this now another bug is uh, going uh, into v1 and rotate so v1 is 136 like here and rotate is basically 138 another bug is v2 plus 15 uh, this is our uh, uh, let's say I remember that we made to start the retract the flaps. Retraction of the flaps depends on your NADP for particular airport. In our case, it's 146 plus 15 is 161. Okay, so we put 161. So, as you can see on the table, uh, if we have V1, V2 plus 15, we can go uh, from flaps 5 to flaps 1. And... Uh, uh, if we have 200, we can go to flaps up to our clean speed and then we can accelerate to our desired speed. So, jump into it and go for takeoff. Okay, so we have 80 knots cross-checked. We have V1 rotate. 
and we can couple the autopilot limitation is 1000 feet array disregard this glide slope please ok at 400 feet we can put the roll mode for example heading select like now and now uh, we are able to couple the autopilot so autopilot engaged we have MCP speed that's quite ok and uh, we may start uh, accelerating the airplane uh, once we reach our uh, retraction so for example at Prague at 3000 feet so that means that we may start accelerate approximately up to 4000 feet okay? so we are still climbing as you can see and now we are approaching so first back to the clean configuration as you can see we are above we have a v2 plus 15 so we can go to flaps 1 as we have 200 we can go to flaps 1 to flaps up sorry and now we can accelerate to our desired speed for example 240 uh, we will fly lo level uh, 100 uh, we can make the after landing procedure and that's the flaps re flap retraction on classics and now we are going to focus on landing ok so we are making turn to the right and we will prepare airplane for the landing so auto brake on 2, runway is quite long uh, we can put departure arrival uh, it's ILS24 we have it there that's quite ok uh, we have is uh, 143 so 143 additive 5 knots because we have 0 wind conditions that's quite ok uh, so now MCP setting is prepared final approach courses auto brake we have now setting 109 or decimal 109 we have and Prague airport decision altitude was 1368 so approximately like this one ok and now we are mm, basically uh, let's say basically uh, prepare for the landing in uh, in Prague so we can make it downwind let's say like this one it's ok we can decelerate and, and remember uh, now uh, how we are using uh, the speed box the speed box we are using that one is for VRF and one I leave it into 60 because this is the thrust driver closure ok and another one is one, 143 which is VRF 143 and two speed box are going uh, to VRF plus 20 so that means that these two are going to 163 and one is going again to minimum clean speed as we have 55 uh, uh, tons of gross weight so 220 will be our uh, our minimum clean speed con configuration so we may start decelerate in this case always don't below if you don't have the flap setting below the minimum clean speed configuration so I think so far it was clear and as you can see we are close to the center line I will put it like now I'm um, sorry
like now we are five nau nautical miles uh, between the center line so basically it's okay it's without any further problems if you can see on the next side uh, you can see the airport and you can see that we are exactly on the downwind position The purpose of this, of this video is to have the correct uh, bug setting for takeoff and landing and use the correct uh, flap retraction and extension. And remember on classics, yes, you have green dot, but it's not so precise and it's not recommended to use it. Uh, I, have I have flew for many companies and they are not using this procedure, uh, uh, but uh, you have to memorize the table which is on the top right hand corner as you can see uh, so for example we may reduce to our let's say uh, flaps one speed okay so in this case first first and it's valid for engine classics it's flaps one once I have flaps one I can go down onto 200 okay because this is our first schedule as I am at 200 I can go for flaps uh, 5 that's no problem so go for flaps 5 flaps 5 and next speed is 180 according to the table scheduled and now we are configured uh, So you can see we have flaps fan, flaps five and leading edge de devices extended Kruger flaps as well. So everything works fine. And now we can make our turn to final approach point. So we'll go here and we can go for example non-standard flaps ten. Okay, so flaps ten first flaps 10 and go and then go to 170 We can make it a little bit shallower. Start our localizer uh, on R mode. Okay, everything works perfectly. Can make a turn in order not to sh overshoot the localizer. Okay, localizer is alive. As you can see, localizer captured. Approach mode is approach heading one for one is set, and we can go gear down and flaps 15 
and with the flaps 15 we have 160 knots okay so 160 Like now, it's still not speed brake arm. I don't know why. Okay, now it's speed brake arm. Okay, and we can go to flaps 25, for example. So put flaps 25 and speed 150. Okay. Now we have flaps 25 and speed 150. And if we can go directly uh, to our approach speed, uh, which is in our case uh, 148, and we can put flaps 30 and speed 148. And now we are fully configured for the landing and we may focus uh, on the landing itself. So as you saw the airplane is it's performing quite well so um, basically there is no problem out there. So we have 1000, we can put autopilot off. Deselect the speed and we can continue manually for landing. Okay, now we are on the ground, but we are uh, floating a uh, little bit much. But anyway, runway is long, so it was not big deal, and it was not purpose of this video to make a perfect landing. Okay, as you can see, we are uh, closing to 60 knots, so I will closing thrust levers and airspeed indicator doesn't show anything uh, below 45 degrees oh uh, sorry below 45 knots so if I stop the airplane and you can see we are still rolling but airspeed indicator is showing 45 so uh, uh, anyway guys I hope uh, uh, you like this video and uh, and yeah, that's it. Uh, I trust Lever Sudden. Mm. It's somehow stuck, but anyway, disregard it. 
it was not purpose of the video. I hope you like it and uh, you will perform uh, classic like a professional. Have a nice day, bye.